A modified Jones procedure is performed here. Through a medial longitudinal incision, which is preferred in order to include, if required, a midfoot wedge tarsectomy. The extensor hallucis tendon is identified and released. The MTP joint is released with respect to the collateral ligaments. The EHL tendon is detached from the distal phalanx and a number two non-resorbable suture is stitched through the end of the tendon. Having detached the EHL tendon, it is necessary to fuse the IP joint. Both articular surfaces are resected using the oscillating saw. One should make sure to perform the distal cut perpendicular to the nail in order to realign the hallux in that process. A tunnel is drilled backward in the proximal phalanx and care should be taken not to breach the MTP joint during drilling. The distal phalanx tunnel is drilled forward and out through the soft tissue at the tip of the toe. Usually a small fragment screw is used to fix the IP joint. It is important to control rotation at the IP joint level manually as the screw is driven home. A tunnel is drilled in the metatarsal neck to receive the EHL tendon. It is usually performed with a 4.0 mm drill bit. The edges of the tunnel are roughened with a mosquito clamp. The tendon is finally transferred through the neck of the metatarsal from medial to lateral. And the metatarsal shaft is dorsiflexed by tensioning the EHL tendon. The tendon is sewn back through itself dorsally using several interrupted non-resorbable sutures.